everyone, it's Thoro, and welcome back. Today we're playing Amanda the Adventurer 2. Now, one thing I want to address is that I did actually start this, but I ended up getting so frustrated with it because I could not figure something out and I like spent over an hour doing it. And I've decided, you know what, I'm gonna redo it, re-record it, because I want to actually sound happy. And I had had a horrible day at work, so. We're gonna hit new game. Yeah, I know. And we're gonna start it all over again. Fresh. Like I never played this before. So. Yeah, who are you? You're Riley, aren't you? Yeah. Kate Turn and my I were up. This close. She talked about you so much. She. She was really proud of you. I guess you've seen some of what she was working on. Kind of. Come on. We should get out of here. I know a place you can rest a while and... Then let's talk. So, I'm assuming we were just sitting in front of the TV after we broke it and she just came up the um, ladder? It's a bit weird, but okay. Lady, how can hey. you breathe in that mask? Hope you got a little sleep. You know, I was thinking... We should head over to the library. You can tell me what happened on the way. How old is Riley, by the way? I mean, God, the, that's terrible. are we just trusting a whole stranger? I really hope we find some answers in Kate's office. Kensdale Public Library. Okay. Come on, let's move. Okay. We're gonna read books or something. Okay. Let's see if your aunt's key ring delivers. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having like a great weekend. Hope you had a nice Halloween. Hope you didn't eat too much candy. Listen, there's something out there. Okay. It's drawn to the tapes and it's very, very dangerous. Okay. Please be careful. I won't, but okay. I know this is going to sound super paranoid, but after everything that's happened, we need to be careful. We can connect on an encrypted channel with these. Okay. You go see what you can find in Kate's office. All right. Watch outside. I'll why don't call you, on the you just stay? Anything comes up. Okay. Why don't you just stay in here with me? Okay. Now I didn't actually get. Okay. I didn't get too far. Um. This is what took me the longest trying to figure it out. I think it was like zero one. Like. Five one or something. Damn. See, got it. There was a three in there. Okay, cause that took me. I don't know. I I figured out the last puzzle. I don't know how I think. Um, when I first played the demo, I don't know how. But here we go. Look, there's a pause button right here. Wonder if it saved my progress from last time. Okay, here we go. Hi friends, I'm Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, we can. Okay. But not literally. At least in our imaginations we can. With my magic train! Cool. If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? So if you type Wooly, she says something interesting. But we're gonna type Amanda. Do you really think you could do that? I'd love to daydream about all Shouldn't the say anything crazy. 
She says Please if you can find him. the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. Cool. But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? You know, she gets mad at you for not picking the correct places, but how am I supposed to know what some of your cruddy drawings that these are different countries? Oh, so it did save. So we don't necessarily have to watch the rest of the video, but for those of you who have not seen it, I'll watch it. That's much better. Now let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. Oof. That happened last time, but that's still disturbing that that happens. Okay, um, here. I'll just show you what happens. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? We'll go to Paris, Paris first, on the magic train! Hmm, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull off the plug, or I can smash it! Uh, let her smash it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Good night, Mr. Piggy. Where should get that mallet? <laughs> Let's count them together. One, That's two, five. three, four, five. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We okay, so see. The pig is here because we need to get it exactly to 10. Now, the game doesn't want to just be fair and allow you to get it over 10. No, you have to get it exactly. So, all right. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? Okay, two coins. And as you can see, now we're at three. So I'm gonna throw this over here. The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Okay. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Yeah, like how am I supposed to know this was Mexico? Wow, no, not this. this trip Sorry. With you is going to take forever. See, I'm stupid too. Was it here? Our next stop See, is Mexico City. I thought that was city. like freaking Egypt in the pyramids. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. That one, I forget what that one is. Anyway, that ticket costs I actually don't know where that is. Coins. So let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three. See, oh, if no, I didn't move the pig. All my coins would have been gone. Have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I don't know. I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? Okay, now we're going to add the pig back. And we're going to sell the rooster. Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster. Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. If I if my math is correct, <laughs> I don't know if I ever did this right. Wow! I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. How many is that now? That's six. All right. We're gonna throw that over there. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? 
That's a terrible subject for kids, but all right. We're going to London! But she's not a normal kid, so. Four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a lucky coin, coin in my pocket. Every person now has one. I have four. That's enough for our last stop. And you guys will see what's going to happen in a moment. So, what? Am I doing this right? I don't think I did this right. But we'll see. I think I was supposed to let, put, bring oh, the pig no, back. No, go away! Get this weirdo out of here! Oh, so sad. No, no, no! He ate one of my coins! Oh no. Oh no! Put you back on there. I wanna go on my trip! What a baby. Check <laughs> cushions. Wow, you're smart. There's always all kinds of stuff in the sofa cushions. By the way, we just clicked like, um, yeah, so I didn't do that right. I should have made her, made it get the last coin. Um, yeah, so if we stop it, oh, hey, um, it's time to she won't get the extra train. coins. Move you out the way. Yay, we're going on a trip. <laughs> going in a circle. But I wish I really could go see the world. Okay, now to actually get those coins. Oh hey. Now it's gonna explode. Another tape. Hey. <laughs> Hi friends. Hi. Yeah, it's late. Time to get ready for bed. I guess I'll get ready by myself. Uh, she's alone there, guys. Hey, wait. You can help me. I don't want to. Before I can go to bed, I need to put away my toys. My dad told me once that it's always nice to have a fresh start in the morning. What about censors out her father? <laughs> like. <laughs> There's what four? Which toy should I put away first? The rabbit. We away. better put him in his home before a hunter shoots his little ears off. One, what? two, three toys to go. Let's put away another one. Time for bed, Mr. Frog. Great work! We're on a roll. Which toy should I put away next? Boing, boing, boing. One more to go. Let's do it. X marks the spot. That was a lot of work. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. Cool. What should I do first? Brush my teeth or wash my face? Um... Wash. Okay, which washcloth do you think I should use? Uh, use red. Nice choice. I love red. Now, will you help me find the toothpaste? Is it in the medicine cabinet, the bathtub, or the toilet? By the way, I'm not clicking on any of the bad answers because they don't do anything. See, now this is important for this. Okay, so. Yeah. So it goes bubble. Uh, 
gosh, that, that, uh, sun. Sun, and then moon, and then the other flower. Okay. Don't know why I did it this way, but. Everything's still pretty quiet out here, but we shouldn't stay too long. Try to find those tapes, okay? Cool. See, and then it does that, and then this is where I got stuck, because I didn't know what to do. Okay, let's go back to the video. How did you get in here? Who even are you? Go away! A little help here, please! Uh, we're gonna help her. Where is this possum thing even coming from? That freak tried to eat my toothpaste. Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh, I guess I'm all done in here. Time to put on my PJs and hit the sack. Okay, cool. Should I wear tonight? Wear the pink ones. It gets awfully lonely in here at night. It makes me think about what's about That's things creepy. I really don't want to think about. I'm not even sure what's real. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Uh, you? Me? Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm scary? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thinking about something you're afraid of can give you nightmares. Especially when there's no one around to help you think about nice thoughts. I try to be a big girl and sleep with the lights off. But it makes me feel so alone. What do you think? Now this next part is creepy. Can I just turn off the lamp and be a big girl? Or maybe you can find me a nightlight. Please hurry back See. soon. Lights go out. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> that was so creepy. Good night, Riley. Nope, she said her name. See, that creeps me out because... <laughs> I think that's like the scariest part so far of this, is that whole scene. And it only happens once. Okay. Now I did notice something with this. Okay, so... Alright, let's see. Because there is a tic-tac-toe thing over here. So... I'm assuming... Okay, hold on. X... 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 I'm assuming O O O O or something. X. Oh. Oh, so that that was right. Play with the activity block at night. Let's practice patience. No, don't throw it on the floor. No, don't throw it on the floor. Oh wait, I gotta finish this. Dolly, are you still out there keeping watch? Okay. Yep. She's still there, but not for long. So I'm being nice to hear this. My chair, <laughs> it's creaking. And 
that's what happens. Throw that over there. And let's practice patience. Hi, I'm Amanda. Oh my god, that creeped me out. <laughs> Wooly! Wooly! You're back! <laughs> no, no. Hey, I am... No, I don't want you here. Don't you get that? But Amanda, I'm your best friend. My best friend? All you do is get up! Hi, I'm Amanda. <laughs> so we're gonna... Look. Look, don't test my patience. Look, that's the speak no evil. No, I'm stupid. Speak no evil. Hear no evil. And see no evil. And a lamp. And I'm Wooly. Dang, she does not want it. She tried to strangle on him. A very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Wait, hold on. So if that's all there, how do I get? If he's there, how do I get him? How do I get this tape out? Hmm. I guess we'll see. Patience is a very good <laughs> She just she's getting so mad at everything he does. Like he's just existing. Patience is a very good quality to have. Poor Wooly. It means staying calm <laughs> even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Wow, she's so mean. He's just Today, trying to help. We are building a birdhouse, so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Willie. Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. I'm gonna bump into something. You can go back inside if you want. You don't have to be out here with me. God, stop arguing. What's something you have built that took a lot of patience? Not my mental Why health. Why would you waste your time doing that? Dang. I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? Uh... I don't know. Kate. Uh... Riley. I like those too! Let's get started! The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? Look like a screwdriver? How would we cut wood with that? You could. I guess it's a good thing we're learning about patience today. What can we use to cut the wood? Right! We'll use the saw to she cut the no wood. She has no patience at all. She's she is one to be talking. Making sure none of these guys have started moving. <laughs> Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Wow, that was hard work. Okay. Look, the possums are just... <laughs> I just noticed that. Together with nails. What tool too. Can we use for that? What did she say? Why is he slowly turning to her to like that? Where you go? The pieces. Pew, pew, pew. This project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience. Come on, you've got this. Oh, <laughs> poor Wooly. That's right, patience. That's what I just said. Aww. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. 
Uh, pink. Love lavender. Lavender, whatever. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job. This is going to be so pretty. Uh. Ah! <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient's thing is going too far. Get him to go away. What do you want me to do? I don't know. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna shine a light on him or something? I don't know. I guess I can click on him. I want to see what happens though. Amanda, how about a little patience? <laughs> Let's get cleaned up and paint this birdhouse. Well then. Wow, that looks great. Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look, they're so pretty and their chirps are so quiet. So peaceful. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Another activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat hunting. Oh, it's a cat. Bird. I'm thinking it's an owl. She is being very patient. You're just gonna let the. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. You're just gonna let her Should attack the, them? the birds? What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and her family have to eat after all. Oh, uh, let's warn the birds. Uh. Wow, Willie, great idea to warn the birds. Shut up. I didn't mean- And now nobody's using the birdhouse. We're going to have to sit here all day waiting for them to come back. That's going to take a lot of... Don't say it. Patience! <laughs> what the... <laughs> the radio scared me. <laughs> all I heard was a voice. All I heard was a voice. Okay, um... Okay guys, I was just going through the tapes and I figured we'd have to mat We have to match them up with the monkeys. So when they got sprayed by the paint, um managed to open his mouth, because they were covering their mouths. So I'm assuming when Wooly talks about it being dar Patience being dark, we tell him the lamp right there. To have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over So, and over I'm gonna go through this again. video again, do the same thing <laughs> all over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Alright. Oh, oh, my eyes! Are you trying oh. to blind me? Shut up. They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. Mega hits from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. No peace. Radio station. I'm click on you now. DJ Brandon and I'm here to tell you that I've completely lost it. I don't even know what year it is. But I do know what day it is. Uh -huh. It's present. Be on the lookout for that. As is tradition Creature. here at KND I told you about Studios, we'll be spinning the national anthem non-stop till the clock strikes twelve. Yeah, we don't. Alright, we're on the birds. <laughs> That's for the monkey's desires. What the? But he's covering. He's covering his ears. He's covering his eyes.
Okay. Um. Hi. I'm Amanda. Hi. And I'm Wooly. Today we are playing bandits. Okay. Come on. Where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break it. <laughs> Willie, you're a pretty boring bandit. Bandits oh. <laughs> hide all kinds of things in the woods. It's fun to go look for treasure. But you should probably tell someone where you never tell anyone where no, you, you're you going. should tell someone. They might get to the treasure before you do. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. Okay. Which, which direction should we go to find the treasure? Uh. Mm, left? Or I gotta go like east. I don't know if we'll find anything over there, but it sounds like an adventure to me. Let's go! Oh, I didn't even notice the path. The pathway is Did you leave some eggs in your pocket, Amanda? That's his backpack. No, Wooly. That's what swamps smell like. It's sulfur. Yuck. If there's any treasure in this swamp, it can stay here. <laughs> Which way should we go to find the treasure? Mm, west. I think you're right. The band has played a trick on us to try to keep us away. Let's go! Emma, I don't like it here. Are you sure this is where the treasure is? Shush, Willie, look! There's a mound of dirt! It must be where the treasure was buried! Okay. Why don't you both bring a shovel? This isn't treasure. Is that a body? It's not a dead body, like, <laughs> that's horrible. Come on, Amanda, let's keep looking for that treasure. Yay, treasure. Which way should we go to find the treasure? Uh, north. I think you're right. Let's go. That was depressing. About this, where should we dig the for the treasure? Imagine I said diamond. <laughs> hmm. Look more closely at the markings. I don't think that's it. All right, X. Just, just go for the X. Yes, that marking matches the one on the map. Let's dig. What? Great. Here we go again. Just hit him with the shovel. Seriously, who is that guy? A little help here. Wooly, you know you can help too. Thanks for your help. Hit him with the shovel. That guy's gonna give me a heart attack. Maybe I should get him to come back. What? Let's dig. Okay, Ben. <laughs> That's a terrible let's joke. Get to digging. Amanda, I don't have a shovel. Bandit should always come prepared. See, I, I asked you why you didn't have a shovel, hand. Willie. Whoa. <laughs> Should've brought one. Make sure I'm still recording. I've been recording for an hour already. She's gonna bury Willie. We did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once. 
but not anymore. Ugh. Come on, Willie, let's get out of here. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? Are you still up there? Oh. Oh, poor Willie. Amanda Rebecca Colton. Actually, you know what? what? No, I'm not done treasure hunting. Oh, uh, why not? I really thought we'd find something special, and you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find That's something good for me. Tornado. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Hold on. Can can I give her this? Hey, oh lord. Um, he, here, take that. Riley, Riley, are you okay? I don't know. Give Amanda a treasure toy. <laughs> what does that even say just now? Okay, so she didn't like that. Okay, so she did not like that. I wonder if this was open. Okay, um, where did it put me? Where's the tape? Y'all, no way I gotta do this all over again. If I gotta do this all over again, um, I swear to God. Do you real- Are what? you sure? We've done that before. What? What the? What? She doesn't want to do the same thing? What happened? That's much better. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. Hold on. And what is this? Okay. Clearly I'm supposed to put this somewhere. Hold on. So this is the station. So should we want to go to Paris first, then Mexico, then to London? Okay, and there's three things. Oh, all right, I see, I see. Wow, who the heck was that guy? He was going to take my coins. Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. Willie? Hi, Amanda. What you doing? I... I was going to go on a trip. Ooh, it's fun to pretend you can go places, isn't it? Ah. Ooh. Hey, Amanda, this isn't funny. Amanda! Amanda! Uh, hey, where did he go? Yo, 
No, I just sent Wooly somewhere. <laughs> Where did he go? Did that unlock the box? Oh, no. Shut up. Going to manage trip. Let's start the day. All right. Hi. Where's Willie? I need to make my bed. Will you help me? We need to fluff the pillows and smooth out the blanket. Which should we do first? Hey, so what'd you do to Willie? So far, so good. Now let's fluff those pillows. What was the point of hopping out the bed? Why didn't you just fluff the pillows, then straighten the blanket? Yeah, Every sure, I guess. morning, I like to think about what adventure I might want to go on that day. Uh -huh. What kind of adventure would you like to go on today? Finding Wooly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my adventure? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's wrong with the music? Uh-huh. Is she okay? Mm. Looks like she's zoning that out. That sounds great! I think I'm going to need my backpack for that No, one. I don't think she was actually interested. Okay, in here. You found it! You couldn't see that from where you were standing? Oh, pause it. Okay, um, the first one's a clown. I almost missed it. First one's a clown. Okay, flower and jeans. That's right. Hold on. All right, guys. So we're back at the part we left off on. The reason why I don't have my model up is because I had to do some stuff yesterday. So this is actually the next day. So she's just gonna be pasted on the screen for the rest of the video properly. Wait, what was that one? I think it was the suit. Use the right pants. Uh, go back. Um. Hmm. I'm assuming it's telling me that that's the right one. to get dressed and I'll meet you in the kitchen for breakfast. Okay. Breakfast is, is the dang most again. meal of the day. What is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Just trying to make sure. Smiling <laughs> bacon and eggs. Right there. Uh, pancakes. I don't like that for breakfast, but you do you. I guess. Who doesn't like pancakes? I usually have to make breakfast by myself. I'm pretty good at it, but uh -huh. today you can help me. You don't like pancakes. First, I can't help you. First, let's take a cup from my juice. Which one should I use? Mm, blue. I love blue. Now, 
Do you want to help me make bacon or toast? Bacon? Yum, bacon's my favorite. You just threw the bread on the floor. Mm. Can you find me something to cook the bacon on? What's taking you so long? Girl, what? I just got here. Uh, we just got to this moment. Find something to cook the bacon on. The frying pan. Can I hit you with said frying pan? How is it this hard to find a frying pan? Alright, you know what? Oh, I can't throw it. No, yes I can. Here. Have a torch. How the heck am I supposed to cook bacon on that? Go find me. You put the bacon over it, light the fire, and then there you go. What's taking you so long? Why do I have to find your frying pan? Look in the friggin' kitchen. Thanks! Now what can I use to cook the bacon? Uh, the refrigerator, the sink, or the stove? The stove. Great! Let's make some bacon! I love bacon. It's so crisp and... <gasps> Get him out of here! I never understand what you want me to do for this guy. How does he keep getting in here? He almost ruined my breakfast. <sighs> Time to make the rest of my meal. A day of adventuring called for a big breakfast. Hmm. I don't know what to eat Look, the first. bacon's freaking dead. That looks so good. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So we're gonna put that back in there, but I think the pants were actually this one. Right there, that looks better. Oh, the breakfast. I think I'm supposed to do something with this. Uh, hold on, eggs. Lord, I gotta figure this out. Okay. Okay, um. Eggs, muffin. No, no, not you. Okay. There we go. When you're feeling bad. Alright, we got it. Where'd the tape go? The tape disappeared. There it is. No, nope, put it in the thing. Okay. Ew, what was that? Wooly? Oh, okay. Um. Hi! I'm. I'm Willie. Uh-huh. What's wrong? Today, we're going to... We're going to... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. Amanda? Amanda? What do you want to do? I don't care. I don't feel right. Look at the pictures on the Maybe wall. doing something will make you feel better. I already tried drawing some pictures, but that didn't help. What do you do when you're feeling bad? Listen to music, that's what I do. Music. Good for you. Ah, oh, well I'm so sorry that's not your <laughs> favorite thing to do. Amanda, how about an adventure? 
What do you think? I want to go on an adventure right now. Are you even paying attention? I feel weird. Leave me alone! Well, I'm gonna go on an adventure in my mind. You can come along with me if you like. Telling a story is like going on an adventure. What's your favorite kind of story? Uh, uh I don't know. Horror. The, the, those kind of stories are too scary for me. What the heck was that? Wow. I wish I hadn't asked. Will it just get eaten by a lion? Oh my god. Okay, a story. Once upon a time. Hey, why don't you help me tell the story? See if you have anything there that will help you follow along. Once upon a time, there was a brave knight. Zero escape, no use. It's okay. Take your time. Uh, oh, books. The Lonely Knight, the Hungry Hungry Dragon. Okay, fine. I think I got it. Is that the choice you want to go with? Yes. Good job. There's our brave knight. Uh. Okay. Let's keep going. The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. Zero escape. It's okay. Do you want to stick with this choice? Yes. Are you even listening to my story? You said wizard. Okay. Moving on. Was that not a wizard, what? guys? They've helped me before. Give them a chance to try, please. Well then. The quest. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. So you're just gonna be chilling in the corner like a villain. Yeah, was this not the wizard? I clicked on it. Fine. Dragon. No, click on that. Dragon. So you really just gonna be chilling in the corner like a dang titan watching me. Do you want to keep your choice? Yes. Ooh, scary. I like it. This story is boring. I think it's a fun story. Okay, let's see. What happens next? Deep in the dragon's cave, it also held captive a beautiful princess. The dragon threatened the princess with its fiery breath. Oh, won't someone save me? Sobbed the princess. Okay, I think my problem was I was supposed to wait for them to actually finish telling the story. I don't know. Now you're freaking me out, you in the corner. Is this the choice you want to go with? Yes. Um, a little focus here, maybe? Who cares? Just tell your dumb I clicked story. the princess, Amanda, guys. I'm doing my best to cheer you up. What the? Those are my drawings, you weirdo! He's going to tear it! Stop him! Get away from the drawings. There's nothing I can- I can't, I can't do with it. <laughs> okay. I thought today couldn't get any worse. Maybe finishing the story will cheer you up. Um, okay. Well, where were we? Oh, yeah. The knight rushed to the dragon's lair. Okay. There, the knight found the dragon guarding the entrance to its cave. The knight drew a sword 
and bravely faced the dragon. The dragon roared, but the knight did not back down. After a long battle, the knight delivered a fatal blow and slew the dragon. It's okay. Um, the knight. No, not the wizard. And the dragon? Oh, was I supposed to open both books? Like, more than one? Have you made your pick? Yes. Wow! What a Okay, I don't think knight. I was supposed to open more than wow, one. What a creative story! Let's get to the grand finale! The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me! She cried. She embraced the knight. And they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. Are you okay over there? It's okay. Thank you. Okay, so the knight and the princess. Okay, is that your selection? Yes. Could that story have been any more boring? Why did you even waste my time? I'm not sure if I want to tell stories with you anymore. That whole story was just a bunch of nonsense! Why did you even waste my time? I'm having a terrible day, and you made it even worse! I picked the prince, uh, the, the prince, the knight, and the read a man of the wrong story. I picked the knight and the princess, guys. So I just noticed the drawings in the back, and I think I might have to go off of those. So that's the knight and the princess. Is that the choice you want to go with? Once upon a time, there were a knight and a princess who loved each other very much. Oh, okay. So Wooly's not even supposed to be telling this the story. the knight had to leave the princess behind. Um, where did that princess come from? Let's get this story back on track. The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. Princess and wizard next. It's okay. Okay. Do you want to stick with this choice? The princess went to visit a wise wizard. She asked the wizard to help her see her knight again. And that's the wizard and the no, dragon. No, the wizard didn't talk to the princess. The wizard talked to the knight to give them a quest. Okay, moving on. Look, I want to hear the news. <laughs> They're trying. So you were still going to kill me? And I was going to mention, so Amanda and this thing aren't the same person. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, dragon. far away cave. Do you want to keep your choice? The wizard, being a bit of a trickster, transformed the princess into a terrifying dragon. That's not- uh, I'm liking where this is going. <sighs> can we please try my story and then you can tell your own? Okay, let's see. This is gonna be a sad story. <laughs> deep in the dragon's cave, it also held captive a beautiful princess. The dragon threatened the princess with its fiery breath. Oh, won't someone save me? Sobbed the princess. Okay, um, Knight and the Dragon. Oh, so he's gonna kill the dragon not knowing it's the princess. Is this the choice you want to go with? In her new dragon form, the princess searched for her knight in hopes of reuniting. When she found him, the knight did not recognize her. She tried to call out to the knight, but only breathed fire. The knight slew the dragon, not knowing they were killing their true love. Oh boy, the knight is gonna regret that! <laughs> Where are you even getting these ideas? 
Shut up. What the? Those are my drawings, you weirdo! He's going to tear it! Stop him! So I'm assuming if he tears it... Like, it'll change the story. So let's not have that happen. I thought today couldn't get any worse. Okay, come on, let's just finish the story. The Knight and the Princess. Have you made your pick? Right before drawing its last breath, the dragon transformed back into the princess. Horrifying by what they had done, the sobbing knight embraced the princess's lifeless form. No! That's not- It's so tragic! I love it! Keep going! No, that's not how the story goes at all! There was a big battle! The brave knight prevailed! And then- the princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. Oh, Willie. You saved me, she cried. She embraced the knight, and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. No. That's clearly not what happened. So it looks like it's just the knight. I think, standing alone. Okay. Is that your selection? Lamenting that they had killed their one true love, the knight resolved to wander the world alone. Forever. Well, I tried. Wow. I actually feel a lot better after hearing that story. Wait, why are you still gonna kill me? No! They helped me feel better. Man, he's mad. Yeah, go. You knew exactly what I needed to hear. A sad story? Thank you. Oh, it's the pig. Um. What do I get? the next tape from five ways to hide a hammer okay goodbye mr. pig what what did I put this at Ooh. hey wait a minute give me that I want to see something real quick Smash this. Yeah. Let's hunt for treasure. Oh, so this is going to be the toy. And it's gone now. So this is going to be something we're going to need. Okay. Throw that there. Wait, can I pick up the woolly mascot, though? <laughs> can I keep it for safety? Woolly mascot. The woolly, uh, plush. Yes, I can. Give it here. Can I give this to Amanda? Stay there. I guess it's either or, but we're gonna give it woolly. And I'm Wooly. Today we are playing bandits. Come on, where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break it. <laughs> Wooly, you're a pretty All right, boring bandit. Let's skip this and tell them to go. I think it's north. I think you're right. What? Okay. Hey, let go. Yeah. 
here. Is that good? No? Yes, maybe? No? Guys? Where'd it go? Give Amanda the woolly puppet. Go away. Why did everybody want to text me? Where did it go? Oh my god, who is it? RC, stop messaging me on Instagram. Dang. Can't ever do nothing. Can never record in peace. Hello? Kate Park. So this is Kate's office. Okay. Yeah, I see the tape right there. 2023. Please do not place microfilm sheets directly on the bright screens of TVs. It'll leave burn marks. So here's another piece. So we'll need this. Okay, so throw that there. So this must bring the, um, what is it? That train thing back. So that way we can um, go to that other area. Okay. Where did it even go? Look, she's got a frog in here. So what happened to Kate? Did she, like, I know she died. You don't suppose it'd be the same old combination, do you? Probably not. Now go back. Nah. Look, the tape's broken. We can fix it. That was disturbing. I refuse to escape. It won't come out. It's the frog. I guess we gotta go there now. Can I save the frog? Instead of having to kill it? I don't want to kill the frog. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Wooly, what do you have there? Oh, just some broken stuff I just did today. Wooly, if nothing is broken, we can fix it. Oh, my favorite skate. Okay, this is highly disturbing. Wait, three wheels. We can fix it, right? Could have 
throw everything away okay let me see what the rest of the stuff is that's a battery I don't know what that is and that's another battery can I just undo it now I don't want to kill the frog <laughs> it didn't do anything you can't throw poor black bot away Amanda it doesn't work anymore <laughs> I think it needs a big battery and a little battery, which is weird for a device. Hey, wait a minute! He's not even really broken! We can definitely fix him! All Blobot needs is something to power him up. Uh, let me get that other battery first. See, we fixed them, will we? I guess sometimes breaking things is a good thing. Amanda, the rest of this really is junk. Just let me look. Well, you be a terrible person. You just throw everything away without making sure it can be fixed. <laughs> How do we fix that thing? Butterflies wing. Have to try. It must be nice to just fly away like that. Wow, Amanda. Oh, you really well, can't about to turn anything. into. <laughs> I dare you to name one thing we can't fix. My heart. Oh. Oh, that was sad. <sighs> Did 
Do we really? Thanks for trying. Yeah, I can't believe they made me kill the dang frog. Dissect the frog and look. Do you feel safe? Well, before we do that, let's try to figure this out real quick. Okay, Hi, next video. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's your favorite thing about where you live? I don't know. Oh, that sounds nice. My favorite thing is how safe and cozy my neighborhood feels. Okay, that's good. Does it, Wooly? Yeah. Uh, I mean, most of the time. Do you feel safe where you live? Yeah. Very. Why don't I type out Amanda? No. Rebecca. What's the point of talking to you when you can't even answer a simple question? Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. Look, I'll answer there your name, all right. There are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you, too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistake. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Yeah, I know. Who is someone you trust? Okay, let's try it now. Hmm. Let's try Wooly. I felt that way a long time ago, too. Why did she there say are it like lots that? Of people I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Maybe we should have said Amanda. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Willie. It's really scary back here, Amanda. Sometimes it's good to go to places that I don't understand what you're scared of. You're the only ones here. You learn a lot about yourself by facing something that scares you. That's dangerous, Amanda. There are other ways to learn about yourself. Uh, like, by having adventures with your friends. What's something that scares you? Even after all this time together? Oh. <laughs> Some people think strangers are really scary. <laughs> oh, I'm I don't, so, I don't really mean that. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen um, if we put it in there. Amanda? You know, you were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. Watch me die. I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is following me. Amanda, Did they hear that? I don't know what you're trying to do back here, but I really Shut don't... Up. Wooly. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, we she can hear that. Moving. Sometimes I worry about trusting your friends, though. Maybe I'm not quite ready yet. So we're about to die, aren't we? Okay, let's try that again. Oh, hey. Did that thing do this? Yeah. I'm really glad you're okay. Let's gather the tapes, quickly. 
I'll go grab what I can from the library, and then we've really got to get out of here. Okay. Are you sure you're sure about that? You sure you're gonna be safe? Please do not place microphone shoots directly on bright screens like TVs. Oh. Hey, you okay in here? Hmm. Where do we put it at? Hey, printer, tell me something. Tell me the TV. Where did I throw that tape at? She doesn't even respond to me turning the TV on. Throw it on there. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? What's your favorite thing about where you live? Let's go see. Okay, I guess that's where we come in from. Clown? XOO Pig. Okay, that's that. Okay. Oh. I'm missing the dang piece in the frog enclosure. I had to look this one up because I had no idea what I was doing. Go on Amanda's trip to the secret cave. Oh, that sounds Yeah. What happens if we tape Rebecca? Nothing. What happens if we tape Kate? trusted her too. I wish I could still talk to her. There are lots of people I used to trust. Uh, where'd the tape go? There it is. No, pick it up. How long have you been cataloging these? Uh -huh. Since I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. If I'd have blinked, I'd have missed it. But here's the thing, there wasn't a single reference until the acquisition. This is the complete log of all the references I can make out. And most of them are subtle, but they're there in lots of them. And usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context, and it's always under the guise of a new adventure. 
And you know this kid was also watching the show at the time of his disappearance. Mm, totally engrossed, his parents said, and then just gone. No police evidence? Not even footprints, trail and all? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months ago. Dang. And now this other kid, Lauren, same story. So what's next? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, obviously, we can't say anything. It's a kid show, for Christ's sake. We sound insane. But it's not. These are, these are not good lessons. Every episode has some very harmful instructions, and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's log, in the last 20 weeks of this kid show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's alarming. Wow, that's nuts. I want to bring Peter into this, if you two are comfortable. This is really his area of expertise. The heck is Peter? Okay, let's get him to review the episodes that you've already recorded. I will cut the meeting recording. How old is she here? About five. I can't even imagine. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family's been tracking for generations. The information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly in damn years. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? Is that what we're saying? Either that. Oh, uh, this just feels. <laughs> this feels like a group of people just sitting there talking about stuff. Why her specifically, and why you? Oh no, this doesn't feel real enough. I wish we could get our hands on that contract. It makes any sense. Just make sure. <laughs> No, I don't even have any conclusive evidence that would suggest that she's still alive. But she's in there, Peter. I know she is. Whatever information Kate is getting is fragmented at best. And that's if it is actually Rebecca. It has to be. So I... no, Caroline. We don't know. We have to hit the pause button on this. We can't do anything that would give away what we're doing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? What's our goal exactly? Look, I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. We don't even know what state she's in. Or if we could even get to her. It's been almost 15 years. She might not even want out at this point. You uh, just to clarify, I remember looking this up a long time ago before the, um, I think before the second game, or either after the second game. It must have been after, probably. I don't remember, but, um... I said the second game, um, the first game, the, after the first game was released. Uh, pretty sure that the guy that made the TV show in the Amanda world um, is Rebecca's father, and Rebecca is Amanda. And whatever happened, the demon whatever trapped her inside the, the videotapes. So that's what they're talking about for anybody who is confused on who Rebecca is. You don't know that. You don't either. Bottom line is, it's not safe. I mean, are we going to talk about David, or are we just going to pretend I'm he's not, not waiting around? If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate. But we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Okay, we've been working what on... What did I say? St. Re Researcher? this for 14 years. Please. This is a terrible idea. We should be lying low, not diving in. Right, you know what? This meeting's over. We're going to take a break, and we're all just going to come back when we can.
Okay, I think I got it. I don't know. One, two, what? Uh, it says there's a key somewhere up in the room. Peeled. What's this for? Ooh, is it for that box? Is it for this? No. No, pick, pick it up. This is one of these. Wait. There. There. Oh. I need another key? Because that's tic tac toe. That's the. You know, the. Thing. Okay. Let's see what we're going to have to do. Alright, I just took a picture of the thing, so I'm just going to wing it. I think I'm supposed to burn it again, but I'm not doing all that. Okay, so. This. Uh, so, I'm going to figure this out. Then I'll skip it, and you guys don't have to sit through it. Oh my gosh, guys, that took a minute. I finally got the other key. Oh, this side. No, put it in the hole. Yeah, I saw the little opening over here. I knew there was another one. Now oh, what? This would be a lot easier if I finished the puzzle. But I'm just looking at it from <laughs> the last thing I did. Okay, three. No, I didn't, I'm gonna be honest, I did not go through the whole thing. I just looked at the code, because I can't be bothered. I've already spent over three hours on this dang game. I want it to be over. What's that button? What does that do? What the? Good. You're okay. Let's do what we came to do and get out of here. Hey, wait. What is that button? I need to. <laughs> wait. I need to add a cassette to that. Oh, she did. Um, mass figure. Run. Wait, what about you? Wait, what about you? Um, what do I do? Y'all, she's so dead. What do I? I guess there was nothing I could do to help her.
beat the game. Hold on. I wanted to find the cassette first or whatever I was supposed to do. Get on Amanda's nerves. What's this? And you look straight into the camera here and smile. If I do this, you'll let me see her? We'll have to get clearance for that. But let's just say doing this will improve your chances. You know you just can't keep me in here. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but people are going to be looking. Okay, I'm all set. We can <laughs> go ahead with your statement. Rebecca, honey, I am so proud of you. And, and I know that our, our friends are taking care of you while I'm away. You can, tr I'm not gonna tell her she can trust you. You've got me locked up in here and you want me to act like everything is okay. This is kidnapping. It's, it's, it's coercion. Just it's, say what's on the paper as well. This is kidnapping. It's coercion. Mr. It's Holmes, if you wish, one of my associates will gladly provide you with a copy of your signed contract. What the heck? <laughs> you agreed to this. I did not agree to lie to my daughter. Operation South Corridor. Go ahead. This is going to take some time. I guess Rick Holton isn't exactly cooperative. No, this is today. messed up. But I got something. I'll bring over the tape for editing. And you've recorded all proceedings? Still running. Can you send someone down to the lockup for the home? Copy that. What's your authorization number? <clears throat> Five, four, three, Alpha Tango, Alpha six, seven. Security escort will arrive in 90 seconds. You have clearance. Stop recording. All right, Mr. Colton. This is how you're going to behave. We'll do what we can with what you gave us. Jerks. You give that man back his daughter. Okay. I had to look it up. But apparently we can rip this off. And scan it. Click me. Mr. Malpractice. The secret tape. Okay. All right. Alice sat with her eyes closed imagining she was still in Wonderland. But she knew that if she opened her eyes, everything would go back to normal. The instrument she heard would become grass, lowing in the wind. Rings of smoke from the caterpillar would become the ripples on the pond. The noise of teacups would turn into the sound of bells on sheep and the queen's loud voice would become a boy calling for the sheep. Hmm. All the strange sounds she heard would just be animals in the meadow. I think I've only seen Alice in Wonderland like wow. once. I don't think I've ever read what the book. What a fun story. Did you all like that story? Let's thank Kate. Mr. Sam Colton for joining us this morning for a very special story time. Hey, you all may know a friend of Mr. Colton's. You can watch her on her very own hometown hit show on Kensdale's public access channel. Do you know what show that is? Amanda the That's right, my friends. Now, parents, on your way out today, please consider donating to the library's renovation fund so we can have even more great programming like we did today. 
Right? A major goal of the renovation is to create a special place for your little ones to read and dream. And the very own kids. Or maybe it's that dang hatch that they have in there. Because they seem to lure, love to lure kids in this dang library. That must be it. What better place to lure kids than at a library? It's corner with a state-of-the-art activity center and expanded selection for early readers. Now remember, we can't do it without your support. That new kid's corner will open up wait a, a whole new world. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just thought of something. Random theory. Um, if they were doing the renovations and that's where this hatch came about and everything, right? Then it's in Kate's office. So did she know? Was Kate involved in this? It's the kids' corner. World where your kids will be able to feed their imagination and fuel their own adventures. That's I right. can't wait to see such a special place come to life. Yeah. Thank you again, Mr. Colton, and I look forward to seeing every one of you back here Thursday for a special production of the Very Silly Groundhog by our friends at Blue Fairy Puppet Theater. Uh, hey, for thanks filming. for filming again Bye. for the archive. Daddy, did he turn off the camera? No, I'm, I'm about to. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Make a film <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. Well, I'm a sucker for that Cheshire cat. Perfect. Yeah, give me what you got. Um, you know, I have to say, I just love seeing that connection you've made with the kids here. Hey, it's wait, kid, move. I'm, I'm trying to see. You're my favorite jumper. Do you have a minute? Look at that. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Go, go back. Wait, I want to see what they're talking about. Okay. Don't worry guys, I know there's still more lore around here somewhere. It says there's a secret here. If we can do this. If we can do all the puzzles a certain way. Okay. So I guess this is the last tape. I think, I don't know. But let's watch. Okay, we have somebody running. We're running through a hospital. Okay, somebody's in the hospital bed, but we can't see. Okay, focus, camera, focus. Go away. Trying to record here. Guys, this game is sticking me like all day. Okay, is somebody in the hospital bed? Who's is that supposed to be? Is this Rebecca? Uh, this corridor isn't scheduled. Hey, 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 excuse me. Hey. Was that, was that Rebecca? So what? So like they put her into some type of coma and then um, put her subconscious into the tapes? That'd be pretty messed up. Really scary back here, Amanda. Sometimes it's good to go to places that scare us. You can learn a lot about yourself by facing something that scares you. That's dangerous, Amanda. There are other ways to learn about yourself. Uh, like, by having adventures with your friends. What's something that scares you? Don't bring them up. Some people think strangers are really scary. I don't feel that way. Strangers? Um, Amanda? You know, you were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. I think I still do. Riley, I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is following me. Oh. 
not him again. What are you even doing here? Nobody wants you here. I just got in. We need to get moving. Can you even hear us? What is with this guy? Why have you been letting this stranger mess off this whole time? Can we please get rid of him? What the hell happened in here? I'm gonna come check on you. Shut up, Wooly. Let's get rid of this guy already. <laughs> Amanda, can we please go home? Sure, Wooly. I don't want to play anymore today anyway. Oh, shut up. No one cares that you're mad. Okay guys, I just want to clarify something. So I've been at this, I'm not even going to get into it. So I was looking it up because I wanted to really like beat this game because it took me so long to do. Like my Steam play is, I've been recording this thing for six hours, well playing this game for six hours trying to get everything. So to get this cas cassette tape, because I was going to end the video. So as we saw in the last thing, we saw what happened to the mass figure. So to get the cassette tape, we have to watch all four of the, we have to go orange, blue, red, green. You have to wa then watch the last one. You have to watch all of these at like just back to back. You cannot skip through it or anything or you won't get the cassette tape. And then you have to watch the last one. And then the scene before um, when Amanda and Willie are down the alleyway, you have, if you watch all of them correctly, the possum will come, and then you have to not help them to get the cassette. If you help them, you won't get it. And the reason why this took me so long to do was because I had to close the game out three times. I've done this three times already. And the longest one is the orange one. I, I just want to point that out. I have done, This took me so long to do. And we finally got the cassette tape. So we can finally officially beat this game completely and I don't ever have to look at it again until the third one comes out and I will play that one. All right. Now let's hear what is on. We finally got everything. Let's hear what's on this cassette. Uh, Destroy you're, them. Your little eight, Kate. What did you think? How could I possibly involve you in this? I'm so sorry. And I couldn't. <laughs> Everyone who's tried to figure it out, they're all dead. Joanne. Joanne is dead. She just. Please. Please. I can't bear the thought of it. <laughs> Wrong, Riley, there is no higher calling. There is only suffering. Pain. <laughs> if you've never seen me again, just please listen. It was so stupid and arrogant to think we could beat them. <laughs> she wasn't ever ours to lose. She was already gone. I can't, can't let you get lost too. Please. <laughs> I, I am so sorry. 
Uh huh. She. Kate died because of me. And who are you? My brother was one of the kids who disappeared. All I wanted was to find him. And someone came to me. They told me he was trapped and that the only way to free him was to smash the tapes. And I believed them. I brought you here to destroy these. I thought I was doing the right thing. The night she died, I went to your aunt's house. She'd been working so hard to find the truth, but <clears throat> all I wanted was to get Jordan back. I screamed at Kate to give me the tapes, and then... That creature... It was horrible. I pushed Kate out of there, begged her to run. I didn't want her to get hurt because of me, but then she... <laughs> okay. I think it was protecting the tapes. So did it kill we Kate? Didn't like... Kate didn't know. And now I... Led those psychos right to her house. They're the ones who burned it down. It was to destroy those tapes. I know it. I saw the letter she wrote to you. I know she trusted you to pick up where she left off. And I took advantage of that trust to bring you here. To find the tapes. Okay. I don't know if you can ever forgive me. But I do know that Hamlin needs to be brought down. I mean... I won't be their pawn anymore. I will do whatever I can to... I, I mean, though, like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm already knee-deep into this. Take these and get out of here. Go! Hope you're right behind you. No, you won't. What the heck is that? Is that Wooly? the mass lady and she said she'll be by right behind me Psh, no she won't i knew she wasn't gonna be behind me okay guys um that was amanda the adventure too i was gonna complain about the game <laughs> with all the puzzles uh but i'm not gonna lie that that ending kind of made up for it <laughs> that ending was crazy um but anyway uh Hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't know if I already said that. Uh, I can't wait for the third one to come out. Hopefully we'll get a whole full picture. But make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.